While we have the ability to create our own graphical images using shapes and icons, sometimes it's better to simply insert an image that's been created for us, say, by a graphic artist. So in this movie, we're going to replace the one we drew earlier in the bottom of page two in our footer area with one that's been provided to us in our Tech Connect document, 0702, if you're catching up. We'll start down here at the bottom of page two by double clicking in the footer area. Now we'll select our shape that we drew by moving the mouse pointer to one of the edges when you see the four-sided arrow. Click once to select, hit your delete key on the keyboard, and it's gone. Now click anywhere down below the page numbering so it's not selected. Instead, we'll insert an image, an image that's been provided for you in the exercise files. Click Insert, and from here, we're going to go to Pictures. Clicking Pictures allows you to navigate to the location such as the Chapter 7 folder of your exercise files, where you'll find a series of different types of graphical images, some ending with PNG, others with JPG. Check out down below all the different formats that can be used. WMF, JPEGs, different types of JPEGs, GIFs, BMPs, etc. With all pictures selected, we see all different formats of pictures, including the one that we want, this Red Sun graphic, Red 30 Sun, it's a PNG file, give it a click, and when we go to insert it, it will be inserted in its original size, and it will be anchored to our cursor like any other text we might type. So, go ahead and click insert, let's see what happens. Yeah, that's way too big, it's created a very large footer section at the bottom of our document, and you'll notice that it is on the left side where our cursor was flashing. The first step is to make this smaller. Let's scroll down a little bit to the bottom right corner by going to one of these handles to size it. You can see the double arrow up here. I like to go to the corners because then I can adjust the height and the width at the same time and maintain proportion. So click and drag up and inwards and you can see it getting smaller and smaller. You may have to let go and do it again until you get it down to the size you're looking for. We can go fairly small. Maybe even smaller than that. There's a good size right there. You can see the footer area shrinking down to accommodate. The other thing we want to do is put it over here on the right. Because the cursor is flashing over here, and by default, it's being treated like any other character we would type in line with other text, we need to change how text wraps around. So we can go right to this little layout options icon, click to see that, sure enough, in line with text is selected. Instead, we might want text to wrap around it nice and tight or go right through it. Lots of different options here to choose from. We're going to go with through. Give it a click and suddenly text is able to go right through it. Look at the size now of our footer area. So we can close this up and that means we can go right inside with a four-sided arrow and start moving it around. We can even size it down a little bit more if we needed to. Scroll down. I think there's a good spot for it right about there. And when we're done, all we have to do is double click anywhere in our document to close that up and see that that looks much better. And because it's in the footer area, we know it's going to be repeated on other pages. Okay, so that's just a, a graphical image that was created. What about photos? Let's go up to the top of our document here in page one. Let's say we want to put a photo right in between these two headings. Well, we need to create the space because remember, our graphics can be treated like text, in line with text. So by clicking after the period here in our heading, after insights and pressing return, we create that line for our image. It's the same process. We'll click insert, pictures, again from the chapter seven folder, you'll find Red30 Tech Hands. This one's a JPEG. You can see the dimensions. Give it a click, click Insert, and see what happens. Now, this is in line with text, and in this case, it works out nicely. It's the right size. It goes from margin to margin and pushes everything else down, which means we can click in the background to see what it really looks like. No work to be done there. And the other way we can get things lined up is to put them into a table Let's scroll down to our table, which is kind of moving around now as we add things to our document. And we'll click in the first cell in the second row here, that's empty, and add a graphical image. Again, it's insert, pictures, 
And this time, let's start with the scale. It's a PNG file. Click it, click insert. It gets inserted in its original size. But we can size that down until that row goes back to the height that it was when we start it. We can also go to Table Tools, like the Layout tab up here, and make sure that it's centered vertically and horizontally inside the cell, like so. Okay, let's repeat the process for the other two empty cells. Insert, Pictures. This time, let's go with the VR glasses. Insert. Again, it's way too big, so we go to the sizing handle until we get that row back where it was. That's the maximum height we can go to. Click the Layout tab to get it centered vertically and horizontally. One more to go down at the very bottom left corner of our table. We'll repeat the process. This time it's the robotics PNG file going in. Now because it's so big it's pushed this last row onto the next page but when we size it back down where it belongs and release goes back into that first page. We'll go to the Layout tab to center it, and then click in the background to deselect. That looks much better. So inserting graphical elements, could be images created, could be photos, for example, can really add visual interest and make your document more interesting to those reading it. Of course, there are a number of tools to help you with making adjustments to those images things that we're going to explore in the next movie.